All right, my friends, so in the last video, we were able to at least once the user click on this, the name right here for the photographer, we are going to navigate him to the different screen and we got this user right here, which you prove that is our code is working right here because the user info here only contain user. Really, really straightforward. Now, what is the benefit of using this user info component? What we are going to do once the user click on the name for this specific uh, user, we are going to go ahead and fetch all these informations using the Unsplash ABI. And this is the rule that we want. All right. So we will, we will go ahead and make another request. We will store some information and so on. And in order for us to do so, here we have this, uh, the, this component right here. First of all, I'm going to define my state. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna initialize my constructor. So constructor and give it the super as well. And here I'm just gonna say this my dot state. Here we do not want to store an array. So let me show you because I am planning to store an user info, right? So a user info. And if we go back, okay, this dot state equal to an, an empty object like this. All right. And if we go back here, I'm not planning to store all these informations. The only thing that I am really want, I want object individually, you not know, the entire array. I want only a specific object, a specific user, let's say. And if I expand this once again here, what we are going to do, we, got, we are going to go ahead and fetch, fetch this uh, user right here. All right. If we expand it. You will see we got all these informations so i am not planning to store an array of photos or array of users i am planning to store only one user and if we take a look on the splash abi once we are going to make a request to this thing right here slash user slash username we are going to return an object it's not an array we are going to return an object this is really really important and here what I will do I'm just gonna create my info inside the state I'm just gonna call it user and it will be an empty object empty object not an empty array keep that one in mind depends on the response that I will get back right here this is really really important but if we go to the to the photos let me see here we have this photos right right here if i'm going to make a request to slash photos here is what we are going to get as a response we are get, we are we will get an array here we can see these parentheses that is uh, de determined that or it's telling us that we will we will get an array as a result and here that's why here inside our photo list we have defined the photos in our uh, state to be an array but here we want to define it as an object because this is the response that we'll get back, right? And here I of 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 course need to my componented mount. So the componented mount because this is the place where we are going to make our request. And now we have set up the constructor. We have set up the componented mount. The only part is missing. It is to jump over and call Axios to make some request. Now we have some some questions right here. For example, I have the endpoint where I can say a slash username, right? Uh, for example, here on the top, yeah, we have it right here. The the users here, I can say get slash users, but this is the username. It's a dynamic value where I can get that. Let me show you. Here inside our photo item, when we have turned this thing right here to a link the name of the user when we made it link and we have set the path to be or the two pro attribute to be slash users slash then we have passed this thing right here as a uh, let's say as a dynamic value here inside the url this thing right here will be automatically passed as a props to the user info component and in order for us to prove that here i'm just going to say console.log this dot props inside my user info let's go ahead and switch back to our application i'm going to click one of these we have it right here i'm going to click on inspect and let me go to the console we can see we got this object that comes from the user info line 15 which is the exact same line that i am doing my console.log i'm just going to expand it we can see we have so much information right here but what we are going to what we are interested in it is this match right here i'm going to expand it 
and here we have the params expanded as well as an object we have the username attribute or the property username and the value of, of it will be the username that we need here okay so i can go ahead and store this in a variable okay for example let me show you i'm going to create a variable i'm just going to call it username like this and the value of it will be this dot props dot uh, props like this dot match dot params oops dot match dot params and then it was the username attribute so i am f i am going to, from my props all the way to the match object so match like this uh, dot params dot username because i want to fetch the username right here because i want to use it once i make a request because this is the rule of the nsplash abi all right so we have the username right here we have uh, yeah we have the username if i can spell so username like this so we have the username and uh, we can go ahead and make a request through axios using this username which we got uh, because it will be passed automatically here uh, from our link now we got everything the only part is missing is to make a request and get the information about this specific user all right that's what we are going to do in the next video thank you my friends so much for watching see you in the next one